strange creatures? Police. These headlines always blow things out of proportion. Probably just saw a slug or something. Ain't that right, Ingus? Yeah. Being a pirate isn't easy. Other players spit on you, and banks refuse your service. On top of that, pirates can only train skills and obtain items in the following areas. Unless, of course, we find any maps to buried treasure. Any quests that unlock new ports or islands are fair game, including all of the pirate-themed ones. I have chosen to write these tales down because someone must know the truth if I perish in the chambers of Zarek. My name is Ingus, and this is the story of how I became King of the Pirates. Ingus, if it isn't you, how are your adventures going? Great. I'm actually on my way to join the voyage to Lunar Isle. How's business treating you? Oh, not good. What do you mean? Usually, I receive a few barrels of fresh fish every morning, but it's been three days since the last one. How strange. Indeed. Listen, I hate to ask you, but do you think you can help me find out what's going on? I'd go myself, but I won't have anyone to run in the shop while I'm away. Sure. That's not too far out of the way. Excellent. Take this letter to Lovecraft's Tackle in Witchhaven. My brother Ezekiel is the owner. He should know what's going on. Below the deep, deep blue she waits. They came to her with fire and faith. Hello? Locked away for all eternity. I'm looking for an Ezekiel Lovecraft. <clears throat> that be me. Who sent you? Your brother, Garant. Ah, yes. And what is his business? He seems to be missing a few shipments. Is everything okay? Why, yes. <clears throat> no problems here. Then, where are all the fish? I don't know. Why don't you go ask the owner of the fishing platform yourself, hmm? Now get out of my shop, boy. Go on. Get. What in Sarah Doman's name was that about? Guess I better go ask around. Here. Get lost. Unfortunately, that got me nowhere. I was about to give up when I heard someone crying out for help. Help, please help. What's wrong? My husband has disappeared. He took my son to the fishing platform like he does every Sunday, but this time they don't return. I'm worried. Can you please find them? Strange town folk and disappearing children. Wonderful. Sure, I'll help you. Do you know someone who can take me there? Holcott will take you. What's your fishing level? Uh, 25. 25? You don't even have your fishing license. My fishing license? There's a man named Harry in Catherby who can write you one. But you need to be 70 fishing. Please hurry. I don't know what I'll do without my little Kenneth. What was supposed to be a quick errand for Garant had suddenly turned into yet another obstacle preventing me from going to Lunar Isle. I would need to get 55 fishing levels in order to investigate the fishing platform. By far the best method of gaining fishing levels early on is through fly fishing, and the best place for us to do this is at Shiloh Village. Hi, my name is Ingus the Fisherman, and here is the first level of many. I have a feeling that this is going to take a while, so the only thing we can really do is enjoy the ride.
40 fishing. We can catch lobsters. Eventually, I got bored of fly fishing, so I headed to Catherby. Forty-eight fishing. May as well get some cooking levels while I'm at this. I switched it up to tuna just to have some fun. Forty-nine. Now we're fishing lobsters. You know, at this rate, there's not going to be any lobsters left in the sea. Man, I am burning a lot of lobsters. 50 fishing. Wow, that looks beautiful. We are only 20 levels away from the fishing license. I was about to cook these lobsters when I found this eclectic. There's 51 fishing. 52 cooking. You would think that such a grind would be boring. However, that was not the case. Along the shores of Catherby, I met several people who were also training to 70 fishing for their fishing license. Apparently, the license also permitted you to enter the fishing guild, where all sorts of fish could be caught within a few feet from the bank. It sounded great. If only a pirate like me was allowed to use a bank. I didn't waste my time while I was fishing though. I tried to learn everything I could about the town of Witchhaven. Witchhaven used to be a busy town where fishermen prospered. More than 80% of the town's income came from fishing. And as such, the fishermen were incredibly skilled. But all of that changed. The town's mayor, Eustace Hobb, announced the construction of a fishing platform in the ocean east of Witchhaven. And now this is the only place you were allowed to fish. In order to work on the platform, you needed a license. Which wasn't a big problem, because most fishermen already had the requirements. But this now meant that people from other villages such as Catherby, Port Cazard, and Brimhaven could get their license and come to get a job on the fishing platform. As a result, Witchhaven's economy, which largely depended on the local fishermen, completely tanked due to the drastic increase in immigration. Those who worked on the fishing platform made significantly less than what they made before, due to the large supply of fishermen and increased efficiency of the fishing platform. This cut the market price of fish by more than half of what they used to be. This is why you'll make significantly less money selling your fish to the fishing shops in the Karamjan Sea. It is much better to bank your fish and bring them to the Grand Exchange Market. But unfortunately, that isn't an option for an Ultimate Iron Man pirate. Even though I had no choice but to sell my lobsters, tunas, and swordfish to Harry's shop for a fraction of their going market price, by the end of my fishing grind, I had more gold than I ever had in my life. It was almost enough for me to buy my own pirate ship. While I spent the days fishing and daydreaming about having my own pirate ship, I got closer and closer to 70 fishing. Ah, 67. We're getting close, boys. We're getting close. 68. Just a couple more. Oh, and there's 69. That level almost took two hours. Whew, 70 fishing. Okay, let's go get our fishing license. With my new fishing license, I headed back to Witchhaven. Holgart took me aboard his dinghy and we rowed to the fishing platform. Then, we docked. Why does this feel so familiar? This cold and emptiness. I guess I better find the owner. What 
Who are you? C c come inside, quickly. I'm looking for a boy named Kenneth. Oh, you mean Kent's son? He he's around here somewhere, pr probably hiding if he knows what's good go for him. What's going on here? H haven't you s s seen him? Seen what? The s s s s sea slugs. Where did they come from? It, it began about a week ago. We pulled up a haul of deep sea flatfish, but but mixed in with them we found those s s slug things. We didn't think much of it. Not long after that, my friends began to t change. Now they spent all day pulling in hauls of fish, only to throw back the fish and to keep those n nasty sea slugs. So what do we do? Listen, find Kenneth and Kent, then let the Navy know what's going on. I have a feeling which haven is no longer safe. You can count on me. And then you'll tell the Navy, right? Uh, yeah. I found Kenneth hiding behind some boxes in a room upstairs. Where's my dad? He told me his father left to get help a few days ago, but he was still missing when I talked to Caroline in Witchhaven. So I left the platform to go look for him. Hogart, something strange is going on here. Ya telling me? Apparently Kenneth's father left for help a couple days ago. Let's go find him. As we searched for Kent, I kept hearing this chant. It was around and around in my head. In the distance? No, that's not. That's not right. And as we got closer, the chant got louder. Around, around and around, and around in my in head. head. In the distance, we saw a small island. And as we got closer and closer, the chant got louder, echoing again and again, around and around in my head. In the distance, we saw a small island. And as we got closer, I heard the voices say, Oh, thanks, Sarah Dolman. Kent, is that you? Your wife sent me to find you and Kenneth. I couldn't risk bringing him along with me in this shoddy rowboat. Please, you must get him off the platform. What happened? Five days ago, we pulled in a huge catch. Inside the net, there were hundreds of small slug-like creatures. That's when the fishermen began to act strangely. It was the sea slugs. They attached themselves to your body and somehow take over your mind. I see. Please, you must rescue my boy. You can count on me, Kent. Angus, wait! Whoa, that was close. Thank you. I'll go rescue your son, okay? Stay put. Something's not right about this. I'll thank the g g gods it's you. They've all gone mad, I tell you. One of them tried to throw me into the sea. How can I get Kenneth past the fishermen? Th the sea slugs seem to be scared of heat. I, I figured it out when I tried to cook them. You tried to eat those things? Dude, that is disgusting. Here, take this wet torch. I only have 15 fire making. I can't light the d d d damn thing. Thanks. 15 fire making? He's not even an Iron Man. Kent and Kenneth are back home resting. I wish there was something I could do to repay you. So about these slugs, 
They must be coming from somewhere, right? I suppose so. Maybe if we find the source, we can put a stop to them. Who knows what will happen to Gilinor if they reach the other towns. I have a feeling that the fishermen aren't the only ones infected. Oh, you're certainly right about that. staircase. If there are any secrets kept in this town, I bet they're here. Sigmundus Creatus Est. Shut up! 